Yo, what's good everyone? It's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and welcome back to the road to number one in the world on GeoGuessr Jewels. So immediately upon clicking on the video, you may have noticed something. I have actually been demoted to Master 1 since our last episode. Now off camera, I actually only played one jewel. It was a win and I played that jewel so I wouldn't have any rating decay. Well, I avoided any rating decay, which is good, but unfortunately I ended up at the bottom of my group because of the terrible new system, which meant I'm now Master 1 despite being the exact same rating that I was before. I'm not exactly sure who I'll match against if I play right now. I think I'll only match against Masters for my first 20 games, which obviously I'm not going to be playing because I'm just about to head over to Sweden for the Europe Championships. So anyway, I figured we'd play a bunch of games today and see how high we can get and hopefully rank back up to the champion division so that we can get back on our road to number one. Also, just before we get into today's games, I just wanted to mention that I've started posting regular content on TikTok, on Reels, and on Shorts, and I will be doing so every single day of this month. Now, I'm also doing a little competition to see who can get the most top comments from my Discord community. So go leave a funny comment, and if you manage to get the top comment, let me know in my Discord linked below, and I'll put you on this sheet, and we'll see who gets the most, and I'll reward that person in some way. But guys, enough with the intro. Let's jump into our games here. I think no moving is actually the safest one to play against Masters because ultimately we could get a crazy round on NMVZ where we go the wrong continent and it's more just worth it to play it safe. But our first opponent is a champion and we seem to be a champion as well somehow. So that's really interesting. This gives Pacific Northwest vibes immediately, by the way. We'll give a wave back to our opponent here. I thought that this might be Oregon. Although I could also see Washington and California as well. It's definitely the US because it says yield on the yield sign. I think that this is a decent guess here. Although it almost feels coastal as well. What about Pacific City? Like a lot of these places on the coast are a bit too hilly for what I'm thinking, I think. Yeah, I'm actually just going to go. What about this place here? This is quite flat. I'm just going to go there. I don't know if this is a good guess or not. But I do get the feeling it is somewhere quite PNW because of the way the trees look and all that. Against a 1.2k, they're kind of likely to go east coast, so we'll see. And it was actually California there. I called it might be. And yeah, our opponent has gone in Wisconsin. Not a terrible guess, but it's going to be 3,000 points of damage. That's how we like to start off such videos. And I'm very pleased to be playing against a master. This is great. The next one here is clearly Western Australia. Uh, we got the light blue car, which is more common in the south of the state, and uh, we don't really get too much apart from that here. I'm just going to plonk it in near Perth, because it should be near Perth, with this farmland and the red soil. Also, these trident pole tops, which you do get in Victoria and in Western Australia, so this state and this one. So let's see if our opponent knows the poles and the soil. He does. Oh, it was out in his southern cross. That makes quite a bit of sense to me. Goes for a very similar guess, and we are slightly closer there, so maintaining a flawless run, even though it wasn't our greatest guess of all time. I like the avatar, by the way. This is actually a pretty cool one. We're back in Australia here. Uh, I'll see what our opponent feels about that. We've got the white Google car here. Is that a Victorian pole top? I get the feeling that it is. What copyright do we have here? 2024. So I think we're out west in Victoria this time. Definitely kind of looks like that. Um, I'm going to go out near Neil. Matoa, yeah, sounds good to me. This is again the exact same pole top I was talking about on last time, how they can be found in Victoria and Western Australia. And then if we turn this direction, we have an even more unique Victorian pole top, but just one that's a bit further away. It was out that direction, was Neil, I called it. Um, and our opponent is uh, relatively far away there. So it's been a very smooth sailing comp so far with the amount of Australia we're getting. And I've been practicing at US a lot as well. So really not too bad. Next one here is just Serbia in the north. Our opponent should know it, but uh, yeah, let's just get our plonk in. And our opponent does know it it's going to be five grand points of damage there uh, not five grand but you know five total points there we go um and we're moving forward to the multipliers let's see what we get here next one is going to be norway this feels very southern to me with this farmland they thought maybe east of oslo even so i might try that out here but it's going to be somewhere near oslo with this landscape yeah i kind of thought east of oslo because it is quite forested but wow it was actually north of trondheim there was not expecting that so the game is prolonged unfortunately still a thousand points of damage to do uh, but definitely had south vibes there. Gotta, gotta learn those types of rounds a bit. Next one here. <laughs> Bollard spam galore. Goodness me. Hore Uluzo. Could this be on Sardinia? I feel like I've seen similar rounds in Sardinia before. We have the blue car. And what copyright? 2023. Hmm. Okay, could be, could be. Mainland is surely safer, but I do kind of want to try Sardinia here. I think I'm going to go for the ocean hedge because we're at two times multis now. So if I go like this... And we are correct and our opponents out here then i expect that that would be enough to win we'll see if this is a good tactic or not but you guys know i have a a rather large affinity for water hedging so we'll see and it was actually out on the boot that makes quite a bit of sense what are all those bollards doing there 
crazy round. Good one to remember the repeat probably. And uh, yeah, we get punished for our uh, ocean hedge there. 2.5 times damage. Okay, next one. We are in Albania, I would say here. Or is it Croatia even? Maybe. Hmm. I do kind of suck at these rounds sometimes, but I think this is Albania. Do we have rifts? We do not. Uh, we do have this short cutoff antenna, which is a bit weird. It could, st yeah, it could still be Croatian. Don't hate it. Pole tops. See, that pole top doesn't really feel that too Croatian to me, but yeah, I do kind of suck at that area to some extent at least. I'm gonna go here. It's a bit risky. If it is Croatia, surely it's quite far south, but I think it just looks Albanian, right? Yeah, we'll see about that. Rock walls everywhere. That's a bit weird for, for Albania. That feels a bit more Croatian. Oh, we'll see. I don't know. I shouldn't be missing this, but uh, sometimes I do suck at it. Oh yeah, that's why it feels all, it felt all the way north because it felt like so much like Croatia. But uh, yeah, we end up with the win there. Tough game against a, a pretty good opponent there. Um, and we gained four rating, which is actually not too bad there. So well played. And okay, now we are, we actually do appear to be in master, which is so weird. We get a 1400 rated. So this is good. I mean, I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, things are going nicely in terms of who we're getting placed against. Okay, we're in Japan. We have this crazy car. I feel like when you see a crazy car, it's often Fukushima, but I don't think these trees feel like Fukushima. I think this feels a bit further south. So I'm gonna go Oita, hedging for Shikoku, hedging for Southern Honshu here. I think that's my main vibe. Also, the black car is really quite common on Kyushu. And wow, our opponent missed it completely. Goes UK. Um, and yeah, Fukushima, it was nearby Fukushima, so I guess that's where you normally get the weird cars. Yeah, but interesting one, a <laughs> poor opponent. That's a really tough way to lose so many HP, but, uh, they've got a good opportunity to come back here. It is Russia. We have, uh, 2023 copyright, interestingly, but, uh, it is certainly Russia with this crosswalk, uh, pedestrian crossing, and we have no car, and it feels quite northern here, I would say, all in all. Like, it could be up, we have random rocks as well, it could be up towards Murmansk. I'm not too sure about that. Maybe it actually does kind of feel all the way up there. I kind of think that is my main vibe with so many random rocks around the place. We've got to get our market down anyway. I'm, I'm gonna go for it here, guys. I'm gonna go southern Murmansk. Okay, it was up there. Very nice. Uh, so that's not gonna be a two-rounder, but it's almost, it almost is. 2.5k there. Man, I should have committed a bit more there. Definitely a difficult round there. Happy that I got that one out. Yeah, let's see what happens on the next one here. Looks like it's going to be Baltic. Can we finish it off in the Baltics? I think that these would be Lithuanian pole tops, at least from what I can see. It's fairly open here. We have a lot of white flowers. Is it, is it ever Esti? Is it ever Estonia? Maybe. I'm going to go all the way north in, in Lith here. And what a plonk that is. It, it definitely had north vibes. And that's enough to do it. Oh my gosh, that's the funniest ending to a jewel of all time, bro. Holy crap. I mean, what a plonk. And we did it by five points or six points or something. <laughs> and we get 11 rating, by the way. So not going to complain about that. That was a hilarious duel right there. Let's see who we get next time. Uh, Bublo. So yeah, we're facing all high rated opponents. This is good. I, I thought it was actually more screwed than it is. So this is good. Okay. What have we got going on here? We have no Google car. This looks like, it felt, it felt like Mexico, but now I'm thinking more Asia. Maybe this is Indo or something. We have Ocean to our south there. Oh. It's a weird round. So I think we are, yeah, driving left with a black car. Okay. We do have some tiled roofs here. So yeah, I think this is like south coast of of Java, which shows up relatively rarely, but you do see it sometimes. We have, do we have a bay there? We do have some kind of a jut out with mountains. I guess I would go further this direction then. Not too sure. Oh no, I don't know. I switched off the right place. That's unfortunate. We were, we were guessing the exact same place there. I did not know about this particular little jutting of the mountains there. That's okay. That's okay. Next one here. What we got? We are in the US here. This is a, a Nevada bollard. Oh, no, it's a Washington bollard. Washington bollard. And we have these weird black mountains. Where, where would this put us? I, I kind of felt that we were like over here against one of these rivers. Maybe this one instead. But we do have like similar looking stuff there. Does the opponent know the uh, bollards here? I think I like this guess enough. Do we see the river? We should be right near a river here. I'm just not sure which one. Mountains are either side here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's this more south one. Oh, it's a more north one. That's a good result. Opponent opts for Oregon. So yeah, 600 points of damage. Yeah, those brown bollards, pretty consistent for Washington State, I believe. So in fact, I think they might be unique. So yeah, pretty good one. Next one here, rice fields in Philippines. Our opponent of insta guesses here. We don't see any mountains, but we see so many palm trees that I feel this must be south. So where do you go? I mean, I, I guess this is down here somewhere, like here. I guess this is the flattest part. 
We'll see about that. Okay, it was down there. Wow, on the coast. Super interesting landscape there. Again, 1.2k damage. Our opponent hedges north pretty instantly there. But it's just too many palm trees to be north. I would have been very surprised there had it been actually Luzon. Next one here. Uh, we got a bit of bit of Cambodia action here with some easterly hills. That's interesting to me. Not too sure what I make of that. Should just be with easterly hills. What sense would that make out here? I feel like we have to be kind of west here. I'm gonna go for it. We'll see. But yeah, it's a relatively straightforward camber. And okay, these were these hills. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gave, it gave me that vibe. I don't know. Normally, it's pretty flat out there, so didn't quite trust it. That is okay. 1.5 times damage now against Balbo. Let's see what happens. Sri Lanka. This one just serves to run up the multipliers. Can we region guess this at all? Not really. We have quite a lot of palms, so I am opting a little bit further south here. Let's just uh, guess here. And okay, was a really nice region guess. And we're going to do a bit more damage like that. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, 335. Not too bad. I think no moving against most ratings is our advantage. But when we face another 1,600 rated opponent, I feel like it's not. Okay, lock in. This should be Portugal. But we don't have blue strip on the right side of the plate. Interesting flag there. So Portugal or Spain? I think it's a Portuguese style pole. I don't think we're on an island here. It is strange that we don't have the right number plate, but I'm just going to have to go for it here. And okay, well, Spain. Whoops. Bit of a stupid guess, I guess, with, without the number plate, but uh, I thought that was a Portuguese style of pole, so good guess from the opponent. Uh, definitely playing super solid right now for a 1.35. 2.5 times damage now. We've got uh, this pole top, which is normally... Okay, we do have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have a horizontal plate and we have a Chubu type plate. So I think Gifu normally works pretty well. We are in a valley here and the valley is kind of running east-west. So yeah, I think Takayama's pretty decent here. Not too sure, but I think I'm gonna leave it there. Should be correct. And okay, it was Nagano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense as well. Tochigi guess is decent and it's gonna be four, 450 points of damage uh, and we're moving on to triple damage now we just have to roll the right rounds here shouldn't be too much stress this one's going to be south africa st port st john's it feels like it's down here right so where's port st john's there's port st john's and yeah they're both different directions so let's just plonk it halfway between them and hope for the best that is my tactics when it comes to signage. I don't like to dwell on it too long. And uh, yeah, it was kind of halfway between them. A little bit further towards Port St. John's. Good damage for us though. Now we're into round nine. It's been a fairly, fairly lengthy duel it has. Okay, here we go. We have, oh, we have diamond reflectors in the US. Those are quite common in South Dakota and Montana. Does this look like either of those states? Oh my gosh, we have to lock in. Do we trust them? I think we trust them here. That's goofy, man. South, is it really South Dakota? Oh my gosh, they were just lying. The boards were straight up lying there. 3.5 times damage, 2,700. We're so lucky that our opponent, oh my, I mean, that was never out there, guys. I don't know. Like, the, the uh, that's never let me down, though. So, you know, we trusted the boards earlier. We trust them again this time to no avail. This looks a bit like Max Northeast to me. This should really be like Maine or something surrounding Maine, in my opinion. Our opponent will probably know that. Oh, we have something there. Not really useful, I think. Yeah, Maine or like New Hampshire to me. I might actually go New Hampshire here because it is older Gen 4, I think. Oh, it was Max North Maine. No, really? I didn't check the copyright. I should have checked copyright there. That's unfortunate because really Maine was the full vibe. But again, I just trusted meta that didn't work, didn't let me down a little. Okay, we're in Russia now. This could be good or bad. Uh, we got a blurred and it's not blurred, I think. It's not a blurred antenna. Yellow flowers everywhere, which is interesting. But I think we're passing through the mountains on maybe this road here, I thought. That was my main thought, I think. Yeah, the crust, yeah, the crust, and the ask one. We are going, we are driving to the north. I think that feels not so good, actually. I'm gonna hedge between them, I'm gonna hedge between them. Not too sure, actually. Okay, we, we really make a great last minute decision there. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, I think that one drives south and I think this one drives south for the last little bit. I don't know, just last minute uh, decision making that worked out for the best. Next one, surely we can get this one. South Africa, I think. Yeah, we're driving left here. Okay, well, northwest, we have huge mountains. This feels like the Cape somewhere in the Cape. We got southwesterly mountains as well, though. I mean, these are surely pretty big. I'm, I'm struggling to get a vibe off the trees, though. It could actually just be near Pretoria. Our opponent has made a ha habit of uh, guessing really quickly, so hold up. What am I looking at here? These mountains are surely so big. They, they do feel like... I do think we're just close to the Capes here because, like, I strongly place those mountains uh, up further north. I hope not anyway, but the fact that we have southwest mountains is a bit concerning. We'll see here. 
Shit, these are Newcastle Mountains. And we lose, and we lose. GG to our opponent there. So rest in peace all the progress we'd made so far. I think it's uh, time for some NMPZ now. We are fourth in our group at least, uh, but our opponent played pretty nicely for their rating. To be fair, I had a bit of a bad game. So let's just head in here again. We have our opponent who's 900 rated, so <laughs> they're a champion and we're a master, but there's still almost, almost 550 rating between us. And now we are back and we are in NMPZ. I like it, I like it. Okay, these pines feel quite Southern to me. The road quality does as well. It feels like it could be a Memphis red road, but it could also just be a Texan one. I may be leaning more so towards a Texas red road here, which are somewhat less common than Mississippi ones, but I think the road texture really feels like that. We'll see what our opponent thinks here, but I'm feeling good about it. Not a Texas Red Road, but an Arkansas one. We still do a thousand points of damage. So I think our tactic against a 1000 rated opponent is just to get pretty quickly. And we'll see uh, how that transpires for us. Next one here, we're in Indonesia. Lots of coconut palms, a bit like a uh, bit volcanic-y feeling here. I don't know, I'm just gonna go, I don't know, East Nooses, do they feel okay here? I think it's a bit too green. I think actually Java's more likely here. East Java, Central Java, that's more so my vibe. I guess the problem is, we don't have a tiled roof, but it is just one building. You can't always trust that kind of thing, so. And it was Java. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good get considering the uh, lack of a tiled roof, but uh, I will not complain. 700 points there. Decent guess from my opponent, but uh, yeah, I guess the jungle felt very dense, which is quite, quite often in Java. Next one here, this is quite obviously just gonna be Bangladesh. Not too sure about where. I thought maybe Yen Singh with this kind of newly planted rice or whatever but actually maybe not. Nah, I'm less confident now. Maybe it's a bit further west, I'm not sure. It was a little further west, uh, but it was a good region guess. I mean, the, the rice is just more common in the north anyway, so that makes sense. We do a decent amount of damage there. Nice little chunk. Okay, next one here. And we're in Chile, and it doesn't feel too far from Santiago here with this vegetation. I'm gonna just send it in. And we also have wine here, so yeah, feeling quite good about this guess. It was just near Santiago and our opponent, unfortunately is in Turkey. Reasonable guess, but yeah, we had Chilean poles. That's GG, that's a nice little flawless. We only get one rating, but it is nice to uh, pick up the confidence and uh, hopefully we face a different opponent in our next one because 900 rated, we, we don't really want to be playing against anyone lower than 1,300, I would say. Okay, I'm getting the feeling that more people actually play in uh, NM than NMPZ because this took a long time to find and we against a 1,000 rated again. Uh, we have Scotland here, I think, these very spots Fast trees, road quality also feels pretty good for it. I'm just struggling to think where else this would possibly be. I'm feeling pretty damn good about Scotland here. So we'll see if that's right or not. Against a 1000 rated, you just go anyway. And you know, even if you're quite wrong, it's likely that they would be as well. So yeah, we'll find out soon enough if this is Scotland as I so thought. I think for a 1000 rated, this might be quite difficult. I mean, for me, I'm not ent entirely sure either. It was Northern Scotland there. Opponent goes France, quite reasonable to be honest. Uh, the road quality looked quite French, but uh, yeah, I mean, not too bad. Okay, round number two here. Let's we'll see if we can finish it in three rounds. That's my goal here. This one's going to be in Sweden. I thought a bit further north here just because the trees are relatively thin. I'm going to go here. Often I have a habit of not going far enough north in Sweden. We do have this kind of very thick undergrowth. I feel like it is quite an extremity, quite, quite north here. And yeah, it was in further north. I should have trusted myself, but uh, it's still a good guess. And uh, we're on a, we're on path to do it in three rounds. That's my goal. Let's see if we can. The thing is like, we lost 25 rating in the other duel. We have to win against this guy 25 times to gain that back, which is pretty rough. Okay, Southeast here, it's like East. We have this big mountain. I'm just gonna go here. I don't really know where, where this would be, but uh, <laughs> like I, I, I suck at like guessing in the uh, mountains in Chile. It's probably a bit further South if I had to make a second guess, but no, I just I just guess and you know, get it over with. And it was a bit further North, so that's good. Our opponent gets a really nice one, though he didn't get the, uh, the coastal ad, still a very nice one, nonetheless. And I have not managed to do it in three rounds, but maybe four will be the lucky charm. This is very interesting. Huge blur. I think this is uh, Kenya. The trees feel rather Kenyan. The, I'm actually concerned about Australia, but I can't really place it there. And then I guess like, yeah, I'm just gonna go Kenya here. I think that's easily the most likely. And then I guess like maybe South Africa, Botswana. No, I can't really place it there either. Should just be Kenya. Just don't recognize the exact spot though. But yeah, these trees that are kind of low to the ground. Yeah, they feel they feel right. The huge blur. It could be Uganda still, I suppose. Hawaii makes sense, but what is that blur? We're on some random island. The trees, yeah. I mean, yeah, they looked kind of Kenyan, but at the same time, it was very, 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 very volcanic. So next one here, thought maybe Ukraine off the bat. 
think Ukraine, well, I put, a opponent puts a straight in. I like that. I like that. A bit of confidence. I think it is Ukraine. I just don't really know exactly where. Uh, Russia's still possible, obviously. It was Kharkiv there. We're not going to finish him off, unfortunately. And really good guess from our opponent there. Very quickly got the vibes. So impressed, impressed. Gosh, that, that, that Hawaii was something. Double damage now. We are in the US. And I can just tell based on <laughs> the way it looks. I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to describe. But uh, I would say that this could be like, I think Iowa is the most likely here, but it can be anywhere Midwest-ish. So I'm going to go Iowa. And it was Iowa. And will that be enough? Double damage. We're a fair amount closer there. It's almost it. 1,400. Damn. 92 points. Damn. We have not achieved our goal of doing this in three rounds. Not at all. 2.5 times damage now. We are in Brazil, which is Feli Felicianos, Felicianos home country. So what can we do here? This felt kind of middle to me, maybe a bit further north. That's kind of difficult though. 2020 copyright. That's kind of difficult. What do I actually want to go for here? I think I'm actually just going to pl play it very conservatively here and go in nor Northern Goyas. Let's see that. Uh, okay. We are slightly closer there and that's all we needed. It was actually Northern Tocantins and uh, we win the game. Okay, nice. Bit of a shame for Feliciano, Feliciano so to uh, lose on Brazil, but that is the way things go. And uh, let's head back in here again. So clearly for winning, NMPZ is good, but uh, okay, we face Tilko, nice. So Tilko, Olympia is one of Poland's best players and he is uh, 1,490 rated. Let's lock in here. We're starting off with a Brazil, I believe, 2024. Fence feels okay, but like, I do think like everything just kind of looks a bit Brazilian here. I guess Colombia would be the other option. Yeah, so with Brazil, I kind of thought like down here, maybe it could also be this North Coast stuff, but uh, that's kind of a difficult round. It could, it could still be Colombia. That's really my only other option. But uh, no, I think I would go around here, maybe. That's my main thought. Ah, it's a bit, it's a bit rough because this this uh, fence is not typical of the south of Brazil. Uh, so yeah, I may, I may be going wrong here. We'll see. Uh, where will Tilco go? Also very curious to see what he's thinking of the round. And so, time has run out. It was north, yes. The fences often don't lie, but uh, at the same time, the vegetation did not feel like an al a typical Alagoas round. No chance at all. So, yeah, very interesting. We, we made the same guess, essentially. Next one here, we've got a Punjab pole top. Let's get straight into things here. So, Punjab has tons of rice, and then you got the little window at the top of the concrete pole. Does Tilko know? I would assume so. But maybe he doesn't see it. Oh, it's Haryana. Really? That... I feel like almost never happens outside of Punjab. Well, we're a lot closer though, so it is a nice $500 buffer that we gain for ourselves here. Uh, let's see what happens on the next round, round number three. Ooh, so Sweden came to mind. It could even be Tilko's home country of Poland. 2019 copyright. It's interesting, so it shouldn't be... Po well, Poland's pretty unlikely with this kind of a small road in 2019. I'm still thinking Sweden. I don't I don't think the road quality is good enough to be Norway. We, with 2019, we can't be too far east in Europe. So mm, it doesn't give massive Sweden vibes. Like the trees are right, but I don't know about the vegetation. We have random, oh, I thought it was a rock. It's a stump. If that was a rock, I would feel great for Sweden. But as it stands, I don't necessarily. Maybe it's Belgium, maybe, because Although these trees are not that common in Belgium, you do end up seeing this road quality quite a lot. And then also some of this vegetation feels a bit warmer than Sweden, I would say. Czechia. Wait, Czechia makes perfect sense. What am I doing? 2019, it should be Czechia. Yeah, nice. Okay, and he goes Sweden. Yeah, sometimes you just need to think about it around like that. That's good. That's good. Okay, nice. 2019 is really common in Norway, in Czechia, in Greece, and then just vaguely in Western Europe as well. But those three countries have a lot of it. It made sense in the end. Okay, this one feels kind of Polish Baltic. We have a Polish pole here. Let me try and region guess a little here. You know, just a stunt on the man. Uh, let's go here. That was my uh, main thought in terms of this round, but uh, watch it just be south. Okay, what was up out there? Let's go. Not too bad. How you feeling now, Tilko? Nah, nah, I love Tilko. He's a good dude. Uh, I would like to beat him though. Let's see, 1.5 times damage. And we have a Brazil. We have 7.5 area code. I don't know my area codes properly, but I think that's in Bahia. I might just go for it here. Or it does say Bahia, Policia de Bahia. And we have probably a municipal name, but I'm not gonna try and go for that. Feels kind of coastal here with this tree. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually go over here and just hedge for the entire coast of Bahia. I think that's a good idea. Maybe I should have gone a bit further north, like up here in Basari. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think it's a decent guess, though. So we'll see. And we'll have to see if uh, he caught these details off to the side of the screen. Uh, did he? Okay, he did. And it's a good guess as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I should have just gone further north. I realized we had, like, quite a lot of palm trees, which 
Felt a little bit suspicious for I, where I guess at the end of the day, not too many points. Okay, double damage now, and we are in Ontario. It's a bit of a toughie here. I don't think it feels too far east. I feel like it just kind of feels more like this region here. I'm just gonna hedge between everything that I think is most likely. Yeah, I mean, but these Ontario guardrails, just like the wooden posts. Yeah, pretty much don't find them anywhere else in Canada. Um, you do get similar ones. Oh, damn, that's that far south, really. Okay, that makes sense to me in a way. It's gonna be a thousand points of damage that we that we uh, pay for it though. It's a little bit annoying. As soon as the multi started on this video, we've been doing worse. Like we were playing well pre-multis. Uh, this looks like Queensland or New South Wales to me. Yeah, trees feel quite a bit more New South Wales. He's crying. Bollards look a bit Queensland. But no, I do think it is New South Wales. I think I'll go a little bit further north just to like safety plonk it a little bit here. Do just kind of think like, Dubbo is a decent guess here. Should be just somewhere in New South Wales, I believe, with these trees. Um, maybe, maybe this kind of like rock, rockish wall. You can say that anywhere in the east of Australia. Yeah, I was thinking maybe a bit further north there, but uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. 1.6k damage is always good. And uh, Tilco is rather low, so we just have to fade any difficult rounds and uh, hopefully pull a good one here. This looks like India question mark. We have a uh, cacti. We also have a uh, red brick architecture. I don't think this is another country apart from India. I want to say so at least. So Madhya Pradesh, maybe. I think that makes a decent amount of sense. The red soil is interesting. Do you see that there that often? Maybe. I think Madhya is a decent. I think I just go, I think I go middle north here. Like yeah, red brick feels really good for this region. Cacti and red soil? Is it like Jakant or is it Rajasthan. I think it would be more Jakan, but okay. We just happened to plonk on it, which is really great. I mean, like it was just confusion really, but we put them down to 94 points. So surely we just get small countries from here on in and no Russia. Okay, that's good. Ooh, though we have the red. Okay, listen up guys. We got the red lamps, which in Brazil are found in Belém and in Boa Vista. I think this feels more like Boa Vista, but it's it, it feels very rural in a way that would be weird for Belém. I think Belém's a bit more built up. Would feel a bit nicer than this, I feel. I'm gonna go Boa Vista. I'm gonna go in. We don't need to commit this hard, but we're committing, you know? I think I think it feels right. And if it's wrong, then screw these red lamps, man. Because I, I go wrong on them every time, but no, it should be right. And there we go, Boa Vista it is. Nice to commit. Nice to do over 10,000 or 8,000 points of damage at the end there. GG's to Tilco and uh, well played, my friend. So that was six jewels for the day. Obviously, uh, we came out just about even. We're top of our entire group, which is nice at least. Yeah, we came out just about even, I think. That's about exactly where we started off. So in the world, we are currently uh, 78th. Oh no, we must have gained a bit. Yeah, we must have gained a little bit there, um, which is great. So yeah, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. That South Africa was annoying to lose because we were really doing well pre multis on that game, I think. Uh, but well played to the opponent on that one. Well played to Tilco and the others. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, and goodbye.